A two-power international conference on human rights in Azerbaijan in the context of Nakhchivan and protection of human rights through new media technologies was held on Wednesday at the parking hotel by the Institute for Reporters' Freedom and Safety. IRFS head Emin Hussainov introduced the event. The organization has been implementing the human rights and media monitoring project in the Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic for three years. He thanked the Norwegian Foreign Ministry and the U.S. German Marshall Fund for their support of the projects. U.S. German Marshall Fund representative Mehriman Rehemli spoke about the importance of the media project and the contribution of such projects to the advancement of human rights. The session on human rights in Azerbaijan in the context of Nakhchivan was moderated by IRFS project coordinator Idra Kabasov. IRFS correspondent to Nakhchivan Hakim al spoke about the general human rights situation in Nakhchivan, describing the restrictions of everyday freedoms. The second IRFS correspondent to Nakhchivan Elman Abbasov reported that television and radio stations are totally controlled by the government and that there is not a single independent newspaper in the exclave. Malahad Nasibova, the head of the Nakhchivan Resource Center for Democracy and NGOs Development, spoke about the need to arrange regular visits by journalists, diplomatic corps representatives, and human rights defenders to Nakhchivan and maintain an awareness of the developments in Nakhchivan. The human rights situation is tense not only in Nakhchivan but across the whole of Azerbaijan. We are keeping it under observation, said Human Rights Watch representative Georgi Gojia in his speech. Azerbaijan Media Center head Gulara Kundova spoke about the crucial role of media in the protection of human rights and the role of blogs, online TVs and social networking sites in countries such as Azerbaijan. Georgian media expert Lasha Tugushi spoke on the importance of financial transparency in the media sector without which, he said, the media will serve separate forces rather than society as a whole. The Azerbaijani authorities have a total control over nine national TV channels, 130 newspapers and dozens of media websites. The majority of mass media outlets are manipulating public opinion and only a tiny segment is trying to provide adequate coverage. The government shows zero tolerance against to even this small group. Within the past two weeks, the family of RFS employee Idrak Abbasov has been beaten and a criminal case has been launched against him and his brothers. Journalist Aydan Jania from Langkran was arrested and the campaign is being implemented against Kural newspaper, where he is also employed. A criminal case was launched against Gundam Haber newspaper and the smear campaign is targeting editors who criticize government policy, lamented Tron News Agency director Mehman Aliyev who believes that independent journalists and media outlets have remained outside the support of journalists and human rights organizations. Azerbaijan Media Center coordinator Seymour Kazimov said that he supports a broader use of social networks and blogging to strengthen the role of society. At the end, proposals were made for the enhancement of mutual cooperation between mass media and NGOs on the defense and development of independent information space.